Hello guys, welcome to this new video. I will compare DMR, Digital Mobile Radio, and NXDN. Which one of the both standard have the better coverage area? If you choose an NXDN radio or a DMR radio, which one has the better coverage? We will see it now, but just before, credits. First, let's compare DMR and NXDN, technical characteristics. The DMR is a TDMA technology. We will see after what is TDMA technology. This is time division multiple access. What does it mean? It means that when you use a frequency, uh, a DMA frequency, a radio, a DMA radio, when you talk, the, um, the channel is divided in two slots. This is TDMA dual slot. You can be, you can have both two conversations at the same time. Each conversation on the on one frequency, on the same frequency, has a time slot reserved for it. Time slot is numbered time slot one and time slot two. So you can be, you can have two users calling to other users at the same time on the same frequency. This is the advantage the principal advantage of the TDMA. NXDN used the FDMA technology, frequency division multiple access. This means that when you press the PTT here to talk, you have only one frequency used. You cannot have both uh, or two users two user or more at the same time. There is only one user talking at the time on one frequency. If you want to have a second conversation at the same time you have to change the frequency this is the frequency division multiple axis you just change frequency here you just you just change of time slot the modulation are the same both are four fs key frequency shift keying if you don't know what is a modulation for fs key just have a look on google the bandwidth, the occupied spectrum, is in DMR 12.5 kHz, and in NXDN, it depends of the, of the standard used, it's 6.25 kHz or 12.5 kHz. So in, D, in NXDN and DPMR, in DMR, you have one, one standard, the standard um, 9.6 uh, kilobit per second used the same bandwidth than DMR and the other standard which is 4.8 kilobits per second used the 6.25 kilohertz so there is a half 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 um, the, the, the NXDN in 4.8 kilohertz a uh, kilobit per second use half half less bandwidth than the DMR. This is the principal technical characteristic, main characteristic. Let's see now the difference between NXDN channel and DMR channel. DMR channel, as I said, use time division multiple access, so you can have one, you can have two users at the same time, each users, each user, sorry, have the only have a one um, have 30 milliseconds reserved to talk to send the information and after it changed to the first user so for example if you program this this radio on the slot one just press ptt call with your other user other group this radio will transmit data on slot one here it will stop transmitting hearing and after the next slot, transmitting again for 30 seconds. So 30 seconds transmit, 30 seconds 
stop, silence or receive. 30 second transmit again, 30 second stop transmitting, hearing, and so on. This is the time, the principle of the time division multiple access. In NXDN, depending if you use the 9.6 bit per second, uh, kilobit per second, or uh, 4.8 and uh, kilobit per second the bandwidth have different size 12.5 kilohertz or 6.25 kilohertz so when using idas for example i come idas nxdn technology you have you use only 6.25 kilohertz so when you compare the 12.5 kilohertz by using NXDN 9.6 bit per bit kilobit per second or DMR. DMR and NXDN have the equivalent range. One is FDMA, the, the second is TDMA. But when you use equal power and uh, I forgot here equal frequency or equal range of frequency, the range, the covered range, is equivalent using NXDN or DMR. Now, if you use NXDN with a half bandwidth than the NXDN 9.6 kilobit per second, if you use only 6.25 kilohertz of bandwidth, the, the very, this is called the very narrow band, the range, the covered range, is better. Why? Why is it better? I will explain it now. Using the 6.25 kHz increase the range of approximately 20%. Plus 20%. And if you compute plus 20% of covered range, it increases the coverage area of 50%. The covered area, you have half 50, half... Um, half covered area, have more cover, covered area. Sorry for my English. It's a good practice for me. So plus 60% of covered area when using 6.25 kilohertz by using same frequency and same power than using DMR. So why is it better? It's better because the 6.25, the ultra narrow band, have a better noise immunity. And there is more power concentrated in reduced bandwidth. For DMR, here, when you transmit, you have 12.5 um, kilohertz to transmit the power. When you use NXDN, for example, or six, any 6.25 kilohertz, you use the same power in a reduced bandwidth. So, the, the covered range is better because there is better noise immunity so the noise is only due to the due to the very narrow band the noise is more filtered better more filtered and the power is concentrate concentrated in a more in a reduced um, reduced bandwidth so this is produced a better range with when you compare to equivalent power and frequency, now I didn't forget the frequency, at when using a bandwidth of 12.5 kilohertz. Okay, now when should 6.25 kilohertz bandwidth should be preferred? For me, in my opinion, I recommend to use this type of technology on network that requiring a large area to be covered. If you have a big, a large, very, very large area to cover, you should prefer 6.25 kilohertz. But the disadvantage, this is the NXDN, for example, or the DPMR, we will see after, is more expensive in terms of, in terms of equipment than when comparing DMR. One relay, one repeater, one DMR repeater, you can have two conversations at the same time on the same frequency with one repeater. If you want to make the same functionality 
with uh, an XDN, for example, or 6.25 kilohertz technology, any technology, you have to use two repeater. So it's ex more expensive because you have to uh, to buy more more equipment. Okay. On the market, who offers 6.25 bandwidth? For me, there is only two um, two manufacturer. There is Icom EDAS with the NXDN technology, the NXDN 4.8 kilobits per second standard, is proposed by Icom and Kenwood. And there is also the DPMR standard proposed by also by Icom and Kenwood. Don't um, be um, come on. Um, Caution when using ICOM EDAS because there is ICOM EDAS NXDN and ICOM EDAS DPMR. This is not the same standard, but they are really they are pretty the same, but they are different. And there is another um, a third standard, the D star. I didn't represent it uh, here, but the D star is a ham radio, radio amateur uh, uh, standard, a digital standard for radio. It's not used by professional on PMR radio, but it also offers 6.25 kilohertz. Now, this video is now finished. The conclusion, choose very narrow band technology, 6.25, like NXDN48 or DPMR, if you are looking to maximize the range of your network. You will get better performance, better cover, edge, better cover area, and you can also have the same covered area than DMR and you can reduce the power and make some economy, energy economy. This video is now finished. Um, I hope uh, it was a good video for you. If you have some subject, some idea of subject, don't hesitate. The comments below the video are just here for that. Don't hesitate. The final word, Thank you for all, thank you, thanks for watching and stay tuned on this YouTube channel. Next video will coming soon. Thank you for all, goodbye.